So hello and welcome back to the channel. It's been uh, quite a while since I've done a video and if you've seen the recent videos that I did do it was all in relation to updating your drivers and installing the new firmware. Well in today's video I wanted to take a little look at the settings that I'm now using on Project Cars 2 and some of the problems really that I think are... I think they need addressing to be honest. Um, I don't particularly think that the firmware has been good addition to the wheel and if you are still running the old firmware uh, which I think was 440 I'll have a little look if I'll put a link in the description um, or at the top of the screen just now for my old settings and if you are still using those and you haven't updated your firmware I'd continue using them to be honest I'm not particularly happy with the firmware as it is or how the wheel feels. I'm using the 330 driver, uh, which on the wheel the firmware is 639. And I think the other two, I will put a, a little video at the end to show what I'm using on the wheel. I will show you all the settings I'm using. Um, but yeah, I think the motor's 18 or the steering wheel's 18, the motor's 30 uh, when the wheel fires up. But I will show you that when I fire the wheel up. But I think there are some issues with how the wheel affects the clipping. Um, I think I was probably running the wheel at about 40% on the force feedback back in the older version of the firmware. Whereas now I think the wheel's up at around 80 to 100% in some, in some instances. So we'll just take a little look um, at the current settings on screen for when I'm using the raw settings. And I particularly think that you're gonna to need to alter some of these for each car, to be honest. Not something I would particularly look at uh, when I used to use the old firmware. I, I would just adjust the force feedback strength. But I have found that by adjusting some of the in-game settings, it really does benefit the wheel. Um, so currently I'm using, as you can see on the screen, I'm using raw, 90% gain for the wheel weight or for the amount of force feedback and then the actual wheel weight itself is 90 and then the effects. I don't think changing these two has any real benefit um, other than where I've got them set and the, the menu spring strength I always have as low as I can get it. Oh, that's as low as you can get it. I think I just always have it on one, so it's actually a value. But these two, I adjusted the tone a few times and the effects, but in all fairness, I, I stick with those where they are. It's just the gain and the volume that I actually do adjust, as well as the, the flavour as well. Uh, I sometimes use uh, the immersive. So we'll have a little look at how the, how the car performs at the moment. We'll also have a look at the um, the graphs to understand what's happening regarding the clipping. So we've come out to set a lap, and we'll just have a little look at how how the telemetry is working. As you can see, right in the end bar there, we're getting absolutely no clipping at all, which is really what we want to see. So you want you want to be feeling as much information as you can through the wheel. Well, so you're just starting to get a little bit of red there coming in, which is fine. I'm not going flat out on this, I'm just trying to show you what's happening while well, still being able to drive. I don't know how Broadbent does this, talk and drive at the same time. So 
So you can see we're just getting a tiny bit of the clip in there. And I'm more than happy to have that much clipping. So if you're setting your wheel up, that's the sort of stuff you want to be looking at. So let's just come back a little bit and just show you what happens. I've got my wheel set on 100% force feedback, which is way more than I would have ever had it set up on. So if you start introducing more gain, and we're just, we add some more wheel weight, if you're not happy with how heavy the wheel's feeling, and then just see what detrimental effect this has on, on the clipping. Now I'd be quite happy with using the wheel weight as it is to be honest. It doesn't feel overly heavy. But on the firmware before, you could have got the wheel much heavier than it feels. But you can see that how much more clipping we're getting there. and a huge spike of clipping there as we hit the wall. Now I don't think particularly um, Bathurst's um, one of the worst circuits regarding force feedback. But if we, if we come to, if we go to immersive and we'll try it again on 100%, Now the wheel does feel slightly different and it almost feels a little bit notchy um, but there's a lot, a lot more information coming through the wheel at the moment. seem to get a lot more sensation of um, understeer as you come through there. just brought the fans in but you can see how much less clipping we're getting far too late then but yeah I mean I think I could turn if we just restart that I think I could turn that down a tiny bit turn down the immersiveness So what you're wanting to be looking at is the right hand side bar is what we're looking at and when it goes red. That's all information that's, that's redundant really. You get any red that's redundant information.
So you can see there, there's absolutely no clipping at all through that. The tiniest millimetres of, um, of clipping. But for me, I mean, raw is, raw is definitely the one that you should be looking at when it comes to using a McLaren wheel. But for, for me, it just feels like it's lost some of the weight of the wheel um, <clears throat> without actually, it's, it's like some of the force feedback's gone. It just feels like some of the details gone out of the wheel when you go back to row. I'm starting to move more towards the immersive at times. And again you start to see the clipping comes back in. Remember the clipping, I mean look at it, it's a huge spike there. So really that's the sort of corner that you're wanting to look at. So if we move to, I mean we've got it set up at 100%. <clears throat> and for me it feels like the wheel's just not heavy enough. Um, it feels like there's something missing. So we could make the wheel heavier, turn the gain back down and see, see what that effect gives us. And almost, almost halfway. It's amazing how tiny the information is at the moment, even though the wheel's set on 100%. It's nowhere near heavy enough for me, to be honest. Huge spike there. And again, an even bigger spike there. So it's, it really is. And, it's like I say, it's just not heavy enough for me. The wheel's not heavy enough. So if we move back to immersive. absolutely nothing through there. I mean I've turned the um, the effects right the way down so I'll just put them back up again. Not just on the wheel itself.
I mean, it is amazing to think that um, there isn't any clipping going on because there's so much more feeding, feeling coming through the wheel. Whether the, um, I mean, I think turning that down and see if we turn the effects down a little bit. I mean, that does feel much better. There, there is, don't get me wrong, there is like a little bit of juddering um, that goes through the wheel, but in all fairness, it feels like, I mean, it feels like the ABS setting, to be honest. I'm just wondering if I turn the ABS setting down, see how that feels through the wheel. I mean, that does feel less notchy. Um, what have we got the effects on? We'll put the effects down to 30 as well. I mean, there's not even any clipping registering when you hit a curb even. So whether it's a flaw within the game, I really don't know, but that's much better to see no clipping going on. So much more information. And um, I, think, I think with the setting, the ABS setting on the wheel itself, 
that's really reducing the amount of uh, wheel vibration. I think it's the ABS setting that's causing issues. But for me, I think the old firmware was far better. And if you've seen my older video, which I put a link in the description, uh, I would stick with the old firmware, to be honest. It's far better, to be, to be perfectly blunt. Um, we will just take a little look at another car. So, as you can see, I've decided to take the Falcon V8 round the Bathurst circuit just to get a different feel for a different car. You often find that once you've used one car for a while and you jump into another car, the force feedback settings are all wrong. It's either too heavy through the wheel or just far too light. So, just to give you an idea as to how the car feels and um, just sort of taking it from there, let's, let's try a different car. A little bit too much understeer through that section there and then it all goes a bit light. Um, so this is using the immersive setting. So I decided to go back and change it and see what see what the raw settings got to offer. Uh, but just pay 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 attention to the uh, the graphs again and just see how much how much more clipping there is using this car. It's almost off the scale instantly. Huge spikes, really are huge. I mean, that's going back to the road, but the wheel does feel much heavier. So let's um, let's just see if we can bring that down a bit. I mean, for me, that's just pointless. There's nothing there. There's absolutely no feeling of feedback in that wheel. It's got so used to driving the LM car, I really have.
Just so much better on a nurse. to make it around that corner far tower that's for sure but immersive for me just I seem to just come back to it each time and it's not how it should be it really isn't let's have a look at another car something that's got a lighter set of steering um, this was a recent car I used um, not at this circuit but again it's a very light feeling through the wheel So again, I mean, this, this wheel feels so light. It feels hardly any weight to the wheel at all. Just really, oh. So when, when that happens, you're going to have to start increasing, increasing this. It is going to be a case of adjusting it per car really, I think. I mean, that feels much better. driven this car on this circuit. But again you can see there's no clipping. Go to turn it up a little bit more if you mind. So yeah, that's that's where things stand then at the minute. When you're looking at the controls, I would be looking at using immersive now. Um, if you're on console, I don't know how this is going to play out if you're on PC, but I certainly think the wheel has more weight to it. There's more information coming through the wheel. There's less clipping through the wheel and I think it's just a case of adjusting the gain and the volume. Leave these two where they are and I'll show you the other settings that I'm using on the wheel. So depending on the car you're driving, just take two minutes to come into the gain and the volume. Use the telemetry screen and be looking just down the bottom corner um, at the clipping. If you look at the little gauges there on the little on the left hand side there and they're moving up and down constantly while you're turning the wheel the one on the very far right that says 10 above it um, that's where you don't want to be seeing any red 
if there's information in there which is usually red, which is going to be red if you can see that graph moving up and down that's information that you aren't getting through the wheel it's too much information for the wheel to be able to cope and to be able to deliver you any valuable information so if there's anything in there it's not being translated to your wheel you want to be seeing nothing in there really you want to see all the other graphs being used to their full potential and nothing in that last column on the right hand side um, so I'll just go through my wheel settings um, so you've got an idea of what I'm actually using so if I fire up the tuning menu and I always have it set to three on project cars I'm using the steering sensitivity set to 360 obviously this is all to do with the rotation of the wheel and you can see where it locks out I get a full 360 degree turn with the wheel and that's from one one lock all the way through to the opposite lock 360 degrees because I don't really want to be taking my hands off the wheel you might find this at around 400 uh, with a Formula 1 rim um, if you're driving Formula 1 cars 400 is probably about the best 420 maybe something like that and um, force feedback is set on maximum um, because I just prefer a heavier wheel and I'm just going to have to do the adjusting in game I think uh, per car shock vibration I always have this set to off and the ABS as we found just stops the wheel feeling a little bit notchy whilst you're in immersive uh, by dropping it down I'd say around 30 to 40 uh, but it does give a, a good sensation of understeer by having the notchiness on because you do lose you do lose the sensation as you lose grip through the front of the car so it is worthwhile having some of that on drift mode I've got set to minus four and braking I think I had that on one maybe on two I've got quite a hard brake pedal um, so the brake force the more the more power you put through the the brake pedal if you felt like you were having to press the brake pedal really hard every time you brake with it down on two you could just increase that up to a hundred so it's applying a hundred percent more pressure so when I have it down on two it's applying just two percent more power than I'm used to putting through the pedal myself through the effects usually if it's raining this wheel jumps around quite a lot if you have it up at near a hundred percent so usually I have it around nearly around the 30 or even off sometimes or if I want to feel some more effects through the wheel I'll just increase this and the last one this was a new one since the update um, which I presume is to do with the fan I'm really not sure I've not found very much information about this for on console but it does seem to be available but I just have it on constant for now um, I've not noticed any difference through the wheel whether you pulse or constant um, but I have it on constant <clears throat> So I'll just accept that, I'll just start the wheel up um, so you can see the firmware and everything that's running on the wheel and that's the version being used. Yeah so I've just come back to the main menu so that you can see right down there in the bottom right hand corner is the current version of the game that I'm using my settings on. So if you're using these settings on a different version of the game, it'll probably feel totally different. So, so that's things as they stand for now. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope it's been somewhat informative for you. And if you have enjoyed the video, please hit that like and subscribe button. Please do leave a comment. I enjoy listening and reading all the comments that people put on there. And until next time, thanks for joining and ciao for now.